So I haven't done, y'all, I haven't done my laundry at a laundromat in forever. It's been a while. Um, I decided to start going to a laundromat because my washer and dryer that's in my apartment that was previously left from the tenants before me, um, they were like really old and um moldy when i bought them i bought them for really 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 cheap and at the time i couldn't buy anything newer and plus like to buy something move it like whatever it was a whole hassle so i just bought it from her and like i've done like cleaning cycles on the washer and dryer on the washer and for some reason it's still like really gross so i decided not to use it anymore and then the reason why I don't use the dryer is because the dryer fucks up my clothes. Um, I'll put something in it and I guess like something by the door is like moved. So uh, my clothes get stuck in that little like pocket area and burns it. And I have burn marks all over my freaking clothes. And my son has like holes in his clothes and I'll buy brand new clothes, wash them and dry them and then they're already fucking they're already like messed up so I was like you know what I'm not doing this so I just bought my son like a whole new wardrobe for summertime and I'm like you know I'm not gonna wash it and dry it in this freaking washer dryer so they can get ruined so I decided to just take it to the laundromat in my town and um go ahead go. um yeah that place was like oh Jesus Christ um that place was super dry dry <laughs> that place was super nice very clean the lady who's like i guess like stays there to like do the wash and wash and fold the wash and fold <laughs> service um she was really nice i basically just did my laundry and uh left did did some stuff at home and then i went back around why can't i talk so basically just went through my, uh, I just did my son's clothes and a load of like um, towels and I took two machines, 450 for a big, big washer, $4 for a medium sized washer and then I think it was like 250 for one dryer and I dried the entire um, load that I had like my son's clothes and the, and the towels so that was pretty good. So overall, wasn't that expensive. Today is uh, Cinco de Mayo. So it's only right that I make some tacos. So I'm going to be, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be making turkey uh, tacos. I've got the standard um, El Paso kit, and this comes with everything, the shells, the sauce, the seasoning. I actually like the seasoning that comes inside the box than the seasoning just by itself for some reason. I don't know why, um, but I like getting the little kit anyways. And of course, I have some Mexican cheese to throw on top of the tacos. I was going to go and get some beer. Um, because the past few days have been not so great for me. 
Um, but I decided not to because I'm on a diet and I'm trying to be good. Ugh, I'm trying my hardest not to eat like a pig and really watch my, what I eat and my calorie intake. And it's been, it's been hard because I've come to the realization that I eat when I'm stressed or upset or depressed. And that's why I've gained so much freaking weight over the past I don't even know how long, but that's definitely from, that's definitely what I've been struggling with. So I'm trying to really be mindful of what I'm eating and get back on a better track. While I was making my tacos, I got notification that I, my package arrived in the mail. So I never, ever buy things um, when somebody advertises it online. Like when people are like, oh, buy this. This is amazing, blah, blah, blah. Like I'm usually not the one that will be like, oh, let me go buy that. Um, but this, however, I did it. I did it. First time for everything. So, um, if you follow Khloe Kardashian, she posted this water bottle in her on her stories, and I'm super pumped. I don't know why, but this just seemed like a good idea. A gallon water bottle. Look at this. You can carry it wherever you go. Look how big it is. Um, it looked a lot smaller <laughs> um, when she was posting her on her stories, but obviously it's a gallon of water. It's gonna be big, but it's huge. Literally, look how big it is. It's huge. So yeah, it's super cute. I got it in this cute little green yellow gradient. Um, it comes with like a little straw I guess okay I guess yeah when you open it opens like that oh, okay it just interesting so like you can't like close it you got to push it down I don't know if I like that Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if I like that. I don't know. Open. Oh, Jesus. Huge as strong. I mean, I'm sure if you really wanted to, you just drink it like this, right? I'm sure you don't really need the sippy, the freaking straw. But um, I love this little band that it comes with. Look, it even clips. Look at that. How cute. For sure. For sure, be, I'm going to be using this because I definitely need to drink more water. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Drink more water. Summer's coming. So it's actually been... Um, a few weeks since I filmed and I've been getting into a routine, like a daily routine of really taking care of myself mentally and physically because um, like I've mentioned in my previous videos, I've been struggling. Um, I think this year was really rough 
because of the whole pandemic issue and just being home all the time. So it really did a number on me mentally and physically. So I'm trying to undo all of that and really, really focus on my mental health as well as my physical health. I've been working out hardcore for the last month, eating better, watching my uh, calorie intake, tracking it all, drinking a gallon of water a day. Like I've been really trying to uh, do the right thing. And honestly, I feel so much better. Like just knowing that I've been consistent has just boosted my um, confidence and just energy. And um, I just feel much better about myself, honestly. So let me tell you um, guys, if you really are feeling just like super lost, down and out, depressed, all that stuff, start working out. Start doing something to better yourself some way, somehow, whether it's reading a book, taking a class, working out, just start small. Don't do anything crazy, huge that you have to commit to um, and you're just scared of it. Just do something small every day to get closer to doing something bigger. And, you know, I started off small. I just started walking every day. And um, then I bumped it up to doing like 15 minute videos on YouTube, then 20, then 45. Um, so I've been, I've been doing well. So, and I feel, I feel really good. So I'm sorry, I haven't really been filming. I've just been taking time for myself to try to heal and um, just be better. <laughs> but I do feel, I do feel good. Um, and I'm about to actually make myself a smoothie because I haven't really had much to eat today other than um, a yogurt and coffee and it's like two o'clock so I really should be eating something so I'm gonna make myself a protein shake I think I've made it on here once or twice before it's super simple I use um, this protein hold on this protein powder it's actually super super delicious I've tried a few of them. This one doesn't leave like a grainy uh, taste in your mouth. The flavor is awesome. I like the chocolate. It's just easy to to, to uh, mix in with uh, some bananas, almond milk, and I use almond, almond milk, almond butter, and bananas. And that is my smoothie and it's delicious. And it's roughly around like, how many calories? So this is 150. Bananas like around 100. So around like, 250 to 300 calories for the uh the smoothie and this for the protein you get 21 grams of protein per serving so um if you are in the market looking for some kind of protein powder that's delicious i actually really recommend this, this is actually really good so yeah that's what i'm about to do right now and then after that i have to go to trader joe's to get some food i'm running really low uh, um on essentials so i'm going to be doing that Cheers. <laughs> All right, y'all, I just got back from Trader Joe's. Cute this little plant is. So I unfortunately do not have a green thumb when it comes to these beautiful plants. I kill them and I don't mean to, like I really wish that I could really take care of plants and have my apartment just flourished with beautiful green plants, but unfortunately that's just not the case. I had gotten this orchid uh, at Trader Joe's too. And as you can see, it has died on me. Um, I was watching um, TikTok and I did come across this one guy who said that if you like cut it at the base before like some kind of like, I don't know what you would call it, but when they like fall and die off, they kind of like inject this thing into the plant. And if you don't like kill it off, like if you don't, uh, if you don't like snip it in the bud, I guess. Um, it'll just kill the entire plant, but if you do, it'll save it. So I think I'm just going to cut these two stems off and see if it re, uh, regrows. I don't know, but I'm very sad about that. All right. So 
I've never tried cookie butter in my life and I've heard nothing but great things about cookie butter. I heard it's really delicious. Um, and I got the Trader Joe cookie, but, uh, cookie butter. I've heard it's like, um, like a cinnamon. Well, there's cinnamon. There's cinnamon and nutmeg in here. Definitely not healthy. Um, 170 calories for two tablespoons. Yikes. I'm going to try just a little, 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 little bit. I got these like golden crackers. They look like Ritz crackers. Um, I'm just going to have one. I just want to taste what it tastes like. I got this primarily for my son. I think he would probably like it. Um, what's the calories on here? Nine crackers is 140, uh, 140 uh, calories. doing that much mm. it's good It reminds me of Christmas, like just that Christmas cinnamon. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that is really good. Mm, okay, I recommend if you have never tried cookie butter before. Oh, okay. I should have read the the jar. Doy. It says deliciously un unusual with crushed Belgian biscuits and the warm flavors of holiday spice bread. Yeah, it, it tastes like Christmas. <laughs> it's delicious, um, really good. <clears throat> Put these away. So I have actually, I actually realized that I haven't done an update on my hair. I think the last time I did was like four months into it. It has been now, so it's been nine months uh, since I shaved my head. And yeah, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like now. I just use, usually just wear a hat because um, it's messy, but this is what it's looking like so far nine months after buzzing my hair um, my gray hair is coming in i'm actually not mad about it i think once it grows to the length that i want it and i get the haircut that i want the gray hair will look pretty cute i don't know i definitely i'm dying to get a trim because the ends are like I don't know, they feel really dry. I really wanna get haircuts. I'm probably gonna wait a little after my year mark to actually get a haircut. But yeah, this is, this is nine months after shaving my head. And I don't really do anything to it. I don't really put anything on it except for like leave-in conditioner and I use, um, What's the shampoo? Not your mother shampoo, is that what it's called? I don't know, I'll put it somewhere on the screen of the shampoo that I use. And I don't like use any heat on it. I don't put any extra product. I just let it do its thing. And yeah, just been letting it grow in. And I just throw a hat on it. And that's it. So, yeah. <laughs> also, a few little tips for if you're on a diet and you're looking for like something sweet. Trader Joe's have these uh, fruit frenzy bars and it's only 120 for one or another option. Bars, they're delicious. This one's mango flavor. It's, 
it it tastes exactly like frozen mango it's delicious and it's only 70 calories for one bar so you can't really beat that for the summertime <laughs> 